Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. So this is going to be our intermission part four. We are now finishing up with the journey phase and now we're going to start into what I call the your new home phase. So at this point, we have already pretty much got you here in the Philippines. You are currently staying at a temporary lodging. This is the place that you're gonna be living while you look for your new home. The next phase goes into that whole portion of you're going to go out, you're going to be searching for a new house, apartment, condo, wherever it is you're going to be living. You're going to be checking all the areas. Once you find a place, you're going to be going through uh, doing all of your lease agreements, figuring out your homeowners association stuff, if there's any of that involved, getting to know your barangay area. And we're also going to be taking a look at things such as where you can go for furniture, appliances, houseware, all those things to get settled into and to really make this your home. So that's pretty much what this whole phase is going to cover. There's not a lot of steps in this phase, but each of these steps can take a little while, especially going out and looking for a place to live. It can take you a few weeks. It's not just going to be a couple of days. If you really are lucky, yeah, you might find a place in a few days, but I would still just kind of shop around just to make sure 100% you're getting the best deal because you don't want to go in and sign a lease agreement and then three days, four days later, drive past another place that's twice as good for half the price and you're kind of screwed. So take a little bit more time, but it might take you a couple of weeks to really find a place. And then you've got to go in and make sure it's all cleaned up and in livable condition that you can start moving in, getting all your stuff settled in. So each of these steps might take a little bit of time, but there's not a lot of those steps. So that pretty much is going to be what we're moving into. And I really would say that your number one thing that you want to be thinking about is you want to have your temporary lodging close to where you're going to be planning on living. There's a couple reasons for this. One is because it's going to be so much easier for you to just get out early every day and go around, start looking around, seeing what there is for places that are available. If you are talking to people, landlords or whatever, they're mentioning places, it's very easy for you to just drive and take a look at places real quick, hop around. But on the other side of it too, if your temporary lodging is in the area you're planning on living, you're going to have that opportunity that for the next week, two weeks, or even three weeks that you're out searching for a place to live, getting settled in and all that, you're still in that area. You're getting to know your way around the area. You're getting to know the different shops, the restaurants, the just that environment. So you're getting a little bit more, uh, you know, getting used to where you're possibly going to be living. That's going to be really useful because while you're out doing your searches for apartments, you can also kind of be taking some time to figure out where are the different hardware stores, appliance stores, you're going to be able to spend just so much time in there. You might start finding some of these little restaurants in the area that you might like to continue going to. So staying closer to the area you're going to be living in, it's not just a convenience factor for being able to quickly go back and forth and around looking for a place, but it's just going to give you a little bit more time to get used to that area itself and getting accustomed to what is going to be your new home. So that pretty much will cover this little intermission and we'll just start going into the next videos of how you're going to be actually looking for your place to live. Thanks.